before the PlayStation State of Play, uh, there was a leak. I, ha- I have the photo. I sent you the photo. Um, Resident Evil 9. Oh, uh, yeah. Briefly appeared on Play Asia. There's pictures of supposed box art. Could it be real? Sure. Maybe Is it not? Maybe, maybe not. It looked fine. Like the, the box art looked like it could be legitimate. I don't know. Like but, the more I looked at it, it didn't seem real because, again, if it's on Play Asia, it really should have been the Japanese version of the game and it should have been called Biohazard. True. So true. it just seemed like it was. And the way that they. Because we, we, we talk about how it's cool that they jam the numbers into the title somewhere. They didn't really do that. They, for didn't, this. they didn't do well on this kind because of, it looks, makes no. it look like it says Resident Evil X. Yeah, so it had the little period to right, try and that, make it, but it didn't work. Yeah, so. um, it but like supposedly, sh- yeah, they are the also best. remaking Zero and Code Veronica, which again, this makes sense, and this is, I think, this is the right choice. That's all that's left. Um, the the heavy rumor right now is that they are knee deep in a remake of the original Resident Evil to come out to celebrate the 30th anniversary. Um, there were some rumors that maybe it was going to launch in January, but if they did that, it would only be, you know, 29 years instead of 30. So I don't know if they're going to do that. But at this point, it's a crapshoot what we're going to get next. I think it's like it could be it, it's just the it's just this, you know, roulette of like, what one do you think it's going to be? It's got to be one of those. It's zero so, and Code Veronica make the most sense. But it, it easily could be one. Just because I'm still in the camp and like, again, we still have Microsoft showcase. We still have the summer games fest. We could see a resident evil at one of those. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the camp that I think whatever is next is nine, because I think they do want, if you look at the pattern, it's been, it's been remake new remake new. We would be on the path for something new. Um, And that also pushes a remake of one, two, 2026 which would line up with the 30th anniversary Do you think there's a chance that it's not nine and it's like something else you think it's not called nine maybe well maybe it's like a code veronica type thing where it's not revelations quite, three yeah it's well it's not quite uh, like a nine it's it could be okay rack, um, rack city two where is it you need yeah, it. there you go outbreak three outbreak three um God. i don't know because everything we've heard, I mean, a lot of the stuff we've heard is that it's going to go open world. Main, main um, yeah. I've from what I've seen, it's supposedly uh, over the shoulder, which is what people want for the camera. I, I mean, I've famously told told you and said on my channel for years, I don't like the first person aspect for Resident Evil at all. Um, I they did it for seven because that was a VR game first. Eight made its way to VR later. But right. it wasn't a VR game first, but it's it doesn't work. I don't think for Resident Evil. They even went back on it in that last DLC where mm-hmm. you played as his daughter. So and they've kind of said like they're shifting their focus and look at what's sold more. Uh, these remakes have sold more than the, than the yeah. new entries. Um, not yeah. that not that any of the games is sold poorly, like they've all sold very well. So um, but yeah, I, at this point, like pick pick whatever you think, like I, it like. This is what's left. It's either a new game or a remake mm-hmm. of one of these three. So, or, I mean, maybe they remake five, but I don't know. That it seems, seems less and less likely. Seems less and less likely and further and further away. I away, feel like they would do sure. everything else before they got to that at this point. It does. So, 